All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Sorry, guys, I'm uh, I'm super sick right now. I'm not looking good, so I'm not going to keep my camera on. All right, so, uh, just, just for you guys' sake. But uh, yeah, if we're looking at Bitcoin, let's just talk about what's going on here. A little update on my trades as well, guys. We did try and uh, take advantage of this breakout yesterday because we were looking uh, for this, right? Uh, which is pretty standard, pretty justifiable trade. Very, very um, good, usually, right? High win percentage. But unfortunately, it was a trap in the end. Admittedly, I did get in slightly late to this one. Um, but yeah, we did. We, we got out of this around kind of 58. So uh, we lost a, a little bit there, but nothing crazy. And then today, to top things off, it was not great. Uh, we were waiting for this pump all day. We finally got in, right? It was looking good. And then, uh, yeah, I, I turned away to work on a spreadsheet for a different project, right? And uh, this pumped up all the way up to here and then uh, back down to entry. So we, we we booked a win, but it wasn't as, as big as I wanted, right? We wanted like 250 bucks, something like that uh, off of this. But uh, yeah, we, we were hoping we'd I'll take profit up here. Did not happen. Uh, and this could also just be a trap from this point anyway. So uh, yeah, we did just get out that break even uh, with this wick being so prominent, right? So uh, yeah, we're gonna wait here on this one. We do have this wedge structure right now. We are waiting for that next trade. Um, markets are not predictable right now. This measure move usually should play out it did not okay um <clears throat> and then exactly the same here right where we break the high typically you get in but no it's uh it's it's a bit of a random walk right now and, and the reason for that is super super simple it's um there's the ETF inflows coming through and then there's the miners essentially just capitulating and selling, right? So that's that's going to create a force to both directions, which is pretty strong. And if there's any moment in time where there's not that much liquidity, we can get big moves like that uh, that can really, really mess up the chart, right? Uh, so what we're looking at right now is... Um, the four hour, but let's bring it up to the daily here. And with this liquidation heat map, we can see that, uh, yeah, our edge here that we're targeting is still valid. And what we're looking for here is to break over this beautiful trend line, roughly around kind of 60K, right? Uh, and then find a trade up to, uh, to, to where this blue line is. And if you're wondering what this blue line is, guys, this is liquidation levels for 10X leverages. Uh, and these liquidation levels come in when there's big volume. So when we get big volume move like so, right, uh, we can see these liquidation levels come in, all right? And then what we can expect is for those to be targeted in the future, okay? So uh, we can see that happened here. You can see that happened here. You can see it happened here. And uh, yeah, it just repeats, right? It just repeats. We've hit pretty much everyone so far. Uh, we don't have any below us on the daily as of right now. So uh, the next ones we're looking for potentially are up at 68K, 74K, and 77K. And that is more like full recovery, all-time highs broke, price discovery again, right? Uh, but I do think this is quite likely a 68K pumper rumper, uh, and then potentially a lower high to form, and then coming down uh, until until like December, probably, uh, where where we do look to um, we do look to, to get in, right? Uh, but uh, yeah, we got this trend line here coming through as well. This is super important. As long as we stay above this, we are looking pretty good. But uh, as of right now, yes, we've lost that bull market barrier. Uh, we should be expecting some downside soon. But uh, yeah, we're just going to wait for a confirmation, essentially over 60k or under 52k. If we if we get any of those confirmations, we'll be looking for that short or we're looking for that long. Um, and yeah, we'll be looking to target those liquidation levels. If we do go to the four hour as well here, uh, I do just want to show you that again real quick um, because there is val validity to the to, to the four hour. Uh, obviously, it's um, we don't have as much data here, but we can see as these liquidation levels do come in, right? Um, you can see them come in here, here. Here, they do eventually get absolutely obliterated, right? All of them, uh, even ones that have been around for months. So um, yeah, if we are looking at this, there are some underneath us on the four hour. So the four hour is gonna be less valid than the daily that I just showed you. But uh, yeah, this is what we're kind of looking at right now, potentially 51K where we were targeting anyway for the bottom of this measure move, okay? Uh, and, then, and then we've got these ones up here at 62K and yeah, just trailing all the way up, right? We're, we're looking for about like 67, 68K for the daily one, but there might be some along the way here. And that's that's kind of uh, what we're looking at right now. So if we break this low, there are levels below where we can make some money. And if we break the high, uh, we, we can make some money as well. What I'm looking at right now with this thing is a massive, massive edge on the market, right? If you love edges on the market, you should definitely like the video. You should definitely subscribe because that is all I do. It's all I'm passionate about. Uh, it is just 
looking for these edges with various indicators and making my own indicators as well, right? So uh, when we do see such a prominent edge like this with an indicator, uh, with back testable data, all of that good stuff, we can see that there is money to be made here. So if we do start breaking over resistance, it's a pretty good chance that they're going to want to try and liquidate in that area, right? The market is controlled by the market makers, right? So if they are going to liquidate everyone, right, and they are targeting these areas for liquidations, then uh, yeah, I mean, we should be looking at those areas as well. And that's exactly what this indicator does phenomenally. Okay, it's not my indicator. I do just want to say that out loud, but uh, it is one that I've been looking at for a while. Um, the, the default version of this, if I just show you, right, is super messy, okay, and, and it makes it quite hard to identify edges. But once I've dived into this a little bit more, this is going to work. Is it going to work? Oh, it didn't work because um, I think I've changed some stuff. But uh, yeah, essentially what we're looking for is this area, okay? We're looking for this area. I've lost my trail of thought, so moving on to the next section, <laughs> okay? A shorter term here, guys, uh, you can see that, yeah, we did just retest this trend line. It doesn't look so great right now. We are just going to chill on this. We're going to wait. We are looking at... Um, well, generally moving averages, we are chilling above all of them on the hourly, at least. Uh, if we do get rid of those moving averages and just look at these volume weighted ATR bands, okay, this indicator I did make, but it's fantastic for finding when we do reverse and finding when lows do come in. Uh, we can see that, uh, yeah, we did just tap that 15 minute one. If we do get above this 60 minute one, which is also above 60K, and it's also above our potential trend line here, right? or our trend line, not a potential trend line, uh, then yeah, I mean, there's money to be made here and also a massive uptrend to be had as well, right? So that's what we're really looking for towards the upside. We want to see that 60 minute volume weighted ATR band break. I am chilling in this area from now because it's, it's extremely trappy. It's dangerous to trade. Okay, I've basically uh, broken even across all my accounts in this area uh, and we have made some money here, but uh, yes, I mean, we've lost, like we made a lot, and then we, we kind of lost some. So now we're kind of back where we started, slightly in profit. All right, so we're going to wait and we're going to chill until there's a decent breakout, something that's more predictable, where we haven't got these two weights of the miners and the ETFs uh, throwing the supply around, the market makers just kind of liquidating everyone, right? So uh, we will chill on this one. We will wait. If we do lose this 15-minute volume weighted ATR band at any point, guys, uh, then uh, there will be a potential trade down as we break this resistance, right? Or break the support, sorry, uh, down uh, under this 15-minute to the four-hour volume weighted ATR band. That's at 15 54k but that's a super risky trade so just be careful with that one but we can hit that and still make a higher low so uh yeah maybe they will attempt that from the market maker side of things all right uh, i will be giving you guys more updates tomorrow i just have been pretty sick for the past couple days i don't know what's wrong with me at the moment i'm getting sick every month it's not great but um yeah hopefully that goes away soon <laughs> and uh, besides that uh, make sure you are trading safe out there i'll see you guys in the next video have a fantastic day cheers